Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Master of Garden video with me, Major Blood Fox, and today we'll be taking a look at our new selection unit, Big Sister Claire. So, it is worth noting that this version of Claire will be going to the regular summon banner once this uh, current banner for her is over. But yeah, without further ado, let's dive in and see what she has to offer us. As always, let's take a look at the splash art. I am big, 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 big fan of Claire, so I really like this. Very nice, looking very beautiful. Beautiful sunset, and I love her red eyes. She's got the normal school uniform on there. All right, looking good. And it's worth noting she is a yellow supporter. So do you keep that in mind. Her position is 478. Would be nice if this was a bit higher, but it is still decent. Her grouping is human, Midgar, uniform. So let's take a look at the skills here. Hidden technique, sister's dignity. Recovers HP of all allies by 200% of attack. Raises attack of all tanks, or all tank allies, by 80% for 15 seconds. Raises attack of all supporter allies by 80% for 15 seconds. Inflicts 800% damage on single enemy. Okay. So, on Awakening. Ooh. Decent modifiers. So, you'll get both these modifiers here to 100%. And this will boost up to 1,000% instead of 800%. So, not bad. Skill 1, Cheer Up. Recovers HP of single ally with lowest HP by 100% of attack. Also raises attack by 50% for 15 seconds. Further increases attack by 50% for 15 seconds if tank or supporter. Okay, on Awakening, both these modifiers will go up to 100%, and, oh, just the one, just the one. Okay, and the other modifiers remain the same. Okay, not bad, not bad. <clears throat> so, Unreasonable Order, Skill 2. Raises speed of all allies by 30% for 15 seconds. Also raises defense by 20% for 15 seconds. Further raises overheal by 20% permanent. Okay, pretty good. On Awakening, wow, that's insane value. Especially if she's going to the regular summon banner. That's pretty good. I always think that having speed is valuable. So these modifiers are pretty good. The overheal is permanent. Decent skill. Okay, special ability, big sister. At start of wave, lowers SP boost rate of all attacker allies by 100% permanent. Further lowers damage inflicted by 200% permanent. Raises damage inflicted for all tank allies by 100% permanent. Raises damage inflicted for all supporter allies by 100% permanent. And on Awakening, both these modifiers here go up 100%, so you get 200%. This is a pretty good skill. Hmm. Okay. So, combo effect, recovers HP of all allies by 5% to 50% according to combo bonus, inflicts 100% damage. <clears throat> so, normal attack, inflicts 2 hit damage 50% plus 50% on single enemy. And her magic gear, let's take a look. Big Sister's special seat ticket. Big Sister, Claire only. Every 15 seconds after start of wave, raises crit rate of all allies by 18%. Okay. And at max level, you will get 30% permanent. So, 
what is my verdict on this unit? I actually think that this version of Claire is pretty good, especially for a unit that's going to the regular summon banner, which further makes me want to suggest that you should not pull for this unit because you can work on getting her shards and get her for free. But obviously if you want her like now this instant, then hey, they're your gems to spend. But that's kind of what I think about this unit is she's not a must pull, but she is a good unit. Just not worth spending gems on if you're able to help it. Obviously, if you got gems in abundance, then it doesn't matter. But yeah, solid unit. But what do you guys think? Be sure to let me know down below in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, and thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will see you in the next Master of Garden video. Toodaloo!